What's up, everybody? It's your boy Phil Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog, here with our Week 3 DPROM matchup here, where we will be taking on our good buddy and rival Pie Man here. Uh, if you guys don't know who Pie Man is, Pie Man has been one of the uh, main coaches that I kind of struggle to beat. I think I've maybe have beaten him one time. I think. I can't like a hundred percent guarantee it, but um, Pie Man has pretty much beat me almost every other time though. Um, sometimes he has won. Um, he won the one time against me because I absolutely threw away my darm in trades and definitely messed me up. Um, I lost to him. I don't know if I got hacked or not against him one time. Also, sorry if you hear my cat's growl. The youngest one's messing with one of the older older, so it's causing a bit of an issue. And everything, so but yeah, here's the challenge by Pie Man. Oh man, I'm scared, man. I'm scared for this. Oh, I think he realized he messed up on the battle challenge. I think he was supposed to do uh legacy. Um, if that's the case. But, uh, yeah, this matchup against Pie Man is really scary. If you guys didn't check out the uh, draft analysis, which I may or may not upload before this, but I'll say it right now. Um, you guys didn't see Team Builder for this for this week, just because I'm not going to be doing Team Builders anymore for a while. Uh, I'm going to do them for one, kind of take a break off of recording, because I think I have way too many files backing up. And I have so much more videos to have to upload. It's just a bit of a hassle, to be honest with you. So, and plus, they haven't really been doing well in terms of views. Like, I imagine people would probably care about them if I was probably a bigger channel and stuff like that. But I was having small channels, which also, thank you guys for 30 subscribers. So it's really great. And we also hit over 2,000 views on the channel so far, which is really great. And one of my very first ever videos, even though it was a two-parter, which I combined the views together and stuff like that. But the first part of that video finally hit 1,000 views. So one of our kind of mini goals for uh, this was with um, that. I'm going to accept it this time so we don't have to worry about that. So he does bring his son. He did bring his son. I did bring my rain. He did bring that Kieran, which I knew. He actually went Aromatisse instead, actually. So... So he went Aromatisse instead. That's a little unfortunate. But Webs and did not bring Lando. Wow, he did not go Lando. That is very interesting. He did not go Landorus. That's actually really surprising to me, actually. Um. Man, Pixie's looking really good this matchup. Pixie looks fantastic. Uh, Phantasma also looks pretty damn good here, too. I mean, Parfanax here. Uh, my Typhoon looks like a potential win con here. I do need to kind of weaken down the Manetric to a degree. He could lead off with the Manetric. But I think he might lead off with his son. Uh, I'm gonna make a pretty safe lead off here and go with my Sonic. He does go Torn. He was probably expecting me to potentially lead with Politoed there, which is definitely respectable. Tornadas. Uh, if he's offensive, I can always live one hit. I can fire off a free Pyroball right here. This is really good damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Pyroball here. Got to knock, get rid of my heavy duty boots, which is unfortunate. We do about 60%, so that's max HP torn. Oh yeah, that's 100% max HP torn. And knockoff does 24 to 29. Uh, so you got a really high roll there. Hurricane is a maximum of 75%. He would have to get a max roll to kill me. 
we'd have to get a max roll to kill. 100% we'd have to get a max roll to kill. Well, I'm just going to put Fireball again here. He does U-turn. So let's make some notes here that he is a U-turn and knock, which is pretty standard torn stuff. He's going to most likely have Hurricane. As for his last move... I uh, don't know. He could be heavy duty boots. In comes Torkoal. He probably sets up his stealth rocks here. I don't think Torkoal goes for the kill on me. Uh, in Sun, 24 to 29. Uh, that looks about max roll. If he's got Earth Power, does that kill me? Um, does 45 to 55? Actually, does Tarko get special rock, special moves? Uh, it does get Earth Power. I do think there's a possibility he would go Earth Power here. He could also set up his Stealth Rocks here. I'm gonna Super Fang here. Bring him down to 50%. Does 14 Sands. I'm at 26%. Which now means I'm in blaze range, which means I do 37 to 43, which means I guarantee kill this thing. So I'm just taking a blaze boosted sun power uh, attack here. And also, sorry for hearing some noise in the background. That's Chester, if you guys don't remember in one of my team builds. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, I'm gonna go Parfinax. I'm gonna fire off a Shadow Ball here. He's gonna go to Flamingo here. Probably gonna fire off a Wish right here. Go right into Pixie. How's it? Dude, come on! No tree frog. I'm gonna protect here. See what he's gonna do. Did he go raw, raw such bomb? Uh, I'll go back to Parfinax here. Knock off. Ooh, that was a good play. Wait, why am I Dragon Breath? I meant to be Draco Meteor. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna fire off a Shadow Ball here. 69, 33%. Dude, that sucks. Um. I'm gonna Shadow Ball for the crit. Don't get it. Does wish. I feel like the protect is incoming here. So I'm gonna go Pixie here. Now we're gonna cause a power up. In 
Dinosaur. Fable. And plus one. One. If I go plus two, plus two, without Kiba Berry, that's going to do 44 to 52. I could be in range of another one. I could go for my damage now. Do 33 to 40. I can 2 a KO him. I'm gonna take a big gamble here. Does this Venus or now kill me? 44 to 52. Oh, actually, he can. Shoot, I didn't think that, did I? I'm gonna risk it in softball. Yeah, it's not the thing. Fuck. All right, I gotta go typhoon here, dude. That we're gonna lose this game because I lost Cinderace that way. Far off an earthquake here. He doesn't make smart play in the torn. Um, I'm going to go into my torn here. He knocks smart play. I'm going to hurricane with my torn here. Need you turn. In comes the aromatisse. <laughs> He's just gonna fire off a moon blast here. I'm losing this match now, dude. This is so dumb. And I'm not trying to sound salty and all that, guys. But, like, what am I supposed to do? Right? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I supposed to do here? Like, this is just stupid. Like, I shouldn't have lost freaking Cinderace. I should- the Torko would have been dead. I would have been having- I would have had full weather control in this matchup. That Venusaur would have been less of an issue. I hate this game, man. I hate it. Really?
use Toxic Stall. Really a toxic stall said. You know, part of me felt like he would bring that type of set, to be honest. Because it is a good stall for it's a good stall set for weather. It relatively is. We need to bank on him. We need to bank on him. Yep. Okay. Don't get six out, which is nice. That's nice. Here comes the Kyurem. I can't beat Kyurem. There's nothing I can do. Because literally all he has to do is bring in the sun. That's it. There's nothing I can do. I lose this. I'm just gonna go for damage. Can I get a crit for justice, please? Can I please get a crit? Where's my crit? Like, come on! I have to go her I have to go I have to go for hurricane. I need this to land. Oh I, I lose anyways, so it doesn't matter. I need to. I need to. The game sucks. Thank you, Pie Man, for respecting my decision. Thank you. I won't lie, the Curum set definitely threw me a little bit. I was expecting freeze dry. I was actually not expecting physical. Uh, physical definitely. Yeah, I mean, those misses definitely played a big factor. I think the 
I don't remember if the aromatase was low enough to a point where I would have killed with aromatase, would have killed with hurricane there. But um, yeah, that just that was such stupid. That's just dumb, dude. I mean, at least I didn't get six out, but that's just stupid, man. Like that really was stupid. Like, come on, one out of ten chance to miss. It's just such garbage, man. And of course, I missed the pyroball that mattered the most because that would have been dead Torkoal. I would have had full weather control for the entire matchup. 100% would have had weather control in that match. 100% would have had weather control in this matchup. This game's a completely different story. I then can keep Clefable around, so he was sub roost. So he was mono icicle spear. So I guess that was kind of a thing, I guess. But again, I could have had Clefable still. Clefable would have been really big under the pressure of the majority of his team. I could have been really win. I think I should have went for that stored power damage, or I should have swapped out. Because I think I still had Parfinance at a decent amount of HP. The knockoff bring with the the Venusaur was a smart bring. It was a really good bring on his end. Uh, to kind of check Dragapult there. Really good smart bring on his end. Just, I'm so freaking frustrated, dude. Just because that's... We lose this match strictly on those on that miss. That again, um, the aromatase miss. I don't think it really mattered if we connected. He, I think he was still cooking wish that turn or something like that. So, and plus I don't even remember if he was at a range where he would have died. But I'm just so angry at that pyro miss, dude. I'm honestly thinking about dropping Cinderace just because of that, dude. Like I'm sick and tired of this Pokemon not landing its attacks, and I don't know how I feel. Yeah, dude, that really sucked, and I'm not I'm not trying to sound salty, you guys, and everything like that. I hate playing like that and acting like this to you, but you guys have to understand that that miss, I think, literally cost me the game, because I could have played around the Kirin a better, I could have played around his team a little bit better, I would have still had, uh, I still would have had, um, Cinderace to potentially use later on in the matchup, um, because of with his son gone, then it outspeeds Kyurem, it outspeeds Venusaur, it outspeeds Aromatisse, like, and he's got to either eventually sack something to me to bring in Torn to outspeed, click knock to relatively kill and everything. So again, Cinderace would have been able to put on so much great offensive pressure in that matchup. Especially, well, obviously with Natric, but Natric doesn't want to take hits. And with me being Blaze boosted, would have played a big factor going into the match too. So, it... <sighs> It is what it is. I can't take it back. I can't change back time if I could, you know. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video. Sorry I brought this up. But if you were here for the little rant I had here, thank you so much for listening. We're going to have to just try our best. Uh, it's nine weeks. We're right now one in three with really bad differential now. So um, things aren't looking good for us right now. So hopefully we can bounce back. I'm going to definitely look into potentially making changes to this team possibly. But, um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you can, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.